Now, the governor in his speech did mention that a possible phase out. The problem with that is if you don't allow any revenue stream or, or the local governments, um, cities and counties to bring in revenue if that is phased out, um, would just mean that you're taking one more police officer and one more firefighter away and sort of it's a sort of a slow death instead of um, doing something more proactive. Local option tax is an option. There should be many options, but for your small communities with very small population bases, your local option tax and sales tax is too small of a, per, of a population to be able to really fill the hole of what would be taken away if the personal property tax was repealed. The other problem is, is it's just a tax shift. If you take it away from one, you still have to bring in the revenue. It goes to your homeowners and to your renters. And I don't think that's ever good process um, and good governing if all we're doing is pushing it one way and it goes out to somebody else to burden it. So there's a lot of dialogue that needs to happen to, to, to if we, we do entertain this, and I don't at this point see. Um, a reason for it. We're still ranked pretty high in the nation for how corporate friendly and personal property tax um, friendly. We're, we're ranked in the in the top 10 for that so I don't see there being a fire drill compared to other states um, and I really seriously think that you need to think it's a public health and safety issue. If you if those counties that depend highly on personal property tax have that suddenly taken away from them then they're not going to keep their infrastructure, their roads, their fire departments, their police departments together and that's an issue. I mean that's a problem. I don't think we need to be doing that to keep our communities and families whole in, in our rural communities. So we need to be seriously looking at giving them options.